Hello! This is the One Episode Rule, a podcast about first impressions, back from vacation, which we didn't We're tell back. anybody about, and I didn't tweet <laughs> about, because by the time I thought about it, it was too late to tweet about it. <laughs> you were on the flight home, and you realized, like, I shouldn't tweet it about that. <laughs> No, not even. It was days after I had arrived home that I thought about it. <laughs> God. It's well, that good. just means you were living in the moment. No it's iPhones true. in sight. I was living. I was living in the. I was living the airport life. The air, yeah. He was stuck. <laughs> you know. You know. The first time you fly, you really should uh, do it. In such a manner in which you have to visit three of the largest airports in the in your country, <laughs> two yeah. in one day, like a boss rush. That's God. the ideal. I Out of the know. frying pan into the fryer. I thought I was going to be confused in Miami. Turns out I wasn't going to be confused in Miami. I was just going to have to walk for four hundred miles in a straight line. <laughs> Pretty much. Nice. Do you, uh, do you see now when I compared uh, going going to an airport as being like herded like cattle? No, because every okay. airport I visited was completely different from the last ever airport I visited. Uh -huh. <laughs> I see. Uh, but it is kind of like that when you get off the plane. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. It is because you're you're all desperately confusedly trying to find how to leave the airport. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, where do I go? Where do I go? <laughs> Please let me out. They're just I... gonna have to eventually hire like sheepdogs to like mm -hmm. direct people. I, I spent thirty minutes trying to leave DFW because every exit I found when was is inexplicably fucking closed. Oh, <laughs> well, well that's the thing is that. In, in order to prevent people from getting COVID, they need to make it so there's only one egg entrance and exit. Um, because reasons. <laughs> nah, they just no. want you to live there. The, the, the whole reason, as far as I could tell, is because they didn't have one person sitting at a desk behind the exit desk. Mm. To presumably prevent people from going in the outdoor. Right. And, which and I, is impose a, a threat to national security. Which is a, a problem I believe you could simply solve by just not putting a handle on one side. <laughs> yeah. But whatever, this show's about anime. Is, is it? This show about anime. We watch some uh, anime. Maybe we'll talk about it. <laughs> but, uh, but I think uh, we have to introduce ourselves. Yeah, you do that. I'm um, Magpie, by the way. Anyway. Um, I'm, I'm Blackle. Um, and uh, the news with me is I'm getting the science juice. I'm finally getting the science juice injected yes. into my body on the I'm... 13th. Ah, so yes, bad. Vanta Black. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> fucking, I'm gonna get turned into a symbiote. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I'm excited. And then also, um, I did get an extremely bad sunburn this, this weekend. Um, oh. So I'm also recovering from that. So yeah, you yeah. know, it's not really even related, but even I have to remark on the severity of it. You look like a hot dog. Yeah, I, <laughs> I do look like a hot dog, don't I? You got very crispy. <laughs> do you like my hot dog cosplay? No. <laughs> I'm mad about I can't that. Do this. You're gonna have, you're gonna be peeling off in like sheaths like a snake. <laughs> well, the thing is, is that I got this thing called Hell's Itch. Where basically um, only like 5% of people who get sunburns get hell's itch. Where basically um, it feels like there's fire ants crawling under your skin. Um, oh, thankfully, good. thankfully there is a solution and it's putting undiluted peppermint oil on your skin um, oh. constantly. And it basically counteracts the biting feeling and it replaces it with a cool minty flavor. So that's kind of fun. I bet you smell incredible. <laughs> I smell, I smell heinous. That's what I smell like. You, you smell like Santa's you workshop. You smell like a bomb went off in Mrs. Claus's bakery. <laughs> I, I, I smell like if Bath and Body Works did like Christmas, but they did it wrong. You went in. You just went in for the dip. <laughs> I, did, I did. I said, "Yeah, get, fucking wreck me." <laughs> anyway, that's what's going on with me. Oh. Poor thing. Yeah, oh uh, well. Well, 
I guess it's my turn to introduce myself. Hello, I am Joey. I, uh, also returning from vacation <laughs> as the the vacation, uh, hoster. Well, welcome to, to Florida and all that. Um, <laughs> it was a, it was a good time. Uh, and... I guess we could relate it to anime because we watched some Bakano. Bakano is good, guys. Bakano is incredible. Um, we need to watch more. I hadn't watched Bakano in years, and I watched it, and I was just like, "Why is this better than modern anime?" <laughs> we we watched the dub as well, which is so incredible. The, there's one character in there that sounds exactly how I imagine my D&D character to sound. <laughs> he just talks <laughs> like a little guy. <laughs> it's, uh, it's Jacuzzi Splot, viewers. Jacuzzi but anyway. Splot. Uh, <laughs> Which is also a good name. I think I think Blackle would like Bacchano, because Bacchano is uh, from bef before the era where all light novel-based anime were isekai. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, it's just, just like... Extremely weird, indulgent fiction, like science fiction, I guess. Yeah, I'm down just... with anything non isekai related. <laughs> okay, Im imagine a bunch of a bunch of criminals walk into a train, right? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's the joke. We're sold. I'm fucking sold. That's right. it. Like. Let's put it this way: like five different groups plan different heinous criminal activities on the same train without knowing about each other's and then activities. An entirely different character starts murdering everyone. Oh my god! <laughs> it's great. Well, that's fun. Watch Bakano. Anyhow. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's real good. Anything else, or you want to get into the news here? No, I was going to say you get some news for us. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I got I got three bits of news here. Um, let's see. First one is the announcement of a of a isekai manga, manga which sounds pretty cool, uh, called Cheat Slayer. Oh. Which uh, seems to be seems to be a subversion. It's by uh, it's by the the person who did uh, Kakaguru Gurui. Maybe? Hmm. Rurai? Not sure about that one. The gambling anime. Okay. okay the one that's okay. really fucky. <laughs> yeah, the one that everyone's like, don't watch this, watch Kaiju. Yeah, watch or Kaiju. Maybe it's just me? I don't know. No, I'd heard that before. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that's gonna come out. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. next thing. Uh, oh, uh, Junji Ito, uh... Junji Ito is going to has already uh, illustrated a short manga for the Japanese screening of The Lighthouse. Yes, it's so good. Which, which I showed showed some people who were suitably baffled by it. <laughs> uh, I didn't know that the movie hadn't shown there already. Yeah, I didn't either. I still need I still need to see it, but maybe I should read Same. the manga first. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, don't don't watch the anime if you haven't seen the manga. Mm -hmm. Um, I will say this, I've only seen two pages of it, but that is an eerily accurate Willem Dafoe. It is. <laughs> <laughs> and uh and Robert uh, Pattinson actually looks pretty pretty convincing as well. So So yeah, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. nice. I'd love to get my hands on, like, a physical copy of that. It'd be really interesting. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And uh, and for our last bit, I have to... Uh, I sadly have to report on a cancellation. It appears that... Uh, it appears that Cheat Slayer, by the author of Kakakurai, <gasps> has been canceled after one chapter. <laughs> <laughs> and Cheat Slayer, the main character Loot, went uh, wanted to join the Rebels Against God Guild, which is made up of characters who bear striking resemblance to characters from actual Isekai series, like Sword o Online's Kirito, who uh, <laughs> that time I got reincarnated, uh, incarnated as a Slime's Rimuru. 
Readers pointed out some of these similarities, and the editorial department was quick to determine that there would be problems moving forward. (laughs) (laughs) Depicting well-known heroes from other series as villains could be seen as denigrating those works, so they apologized to the creators of the properties and other people involved with the project like cowards. (laughs) (laughs) That's funny. Listen, this was probably going to be pretty dumb anyway, but I do think that this is like some coward shit like <laughs> yeah like, like you're come you're on. Uh, you're, bl- you're saying i copied the most bland ass character in the like like you're afraid of like you're afraid to do satire <laughs> <sighs> as if and it, you you act as if you didn't know <laughs> yeah that this was the plan from the beginning <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> uh-huh. But it made a good joke for my podcast, so we did it. <laughs> yeah. That's all, all right. you can hope for sometimes. All right, what are we watching uh, this time? Well, I'm going to use my patented black hole spinner wheel to uh, choose the viewer suggestion. Um, all right. Here we go. Time to spin that wheel. Uh, we're watching um, Excel World. Excel World. Okay. Excel mm. World, which has Ac- been on Excel. the list for a very long time, and it sticks in my mind because it is the first one because it's alphabetically sorted. Oh, okay. Well, at least it isn't related to Excel Saga. Let's watch it. Well, all right. I don't have a clever one-liner to start this critique off with, so, uh, so yeah. What yeah. Do we, Their what school do we had think? a shrub archway. Yeah, and it, <laughs> I thought it was, like, weirdly bougie. <laughs> like, yeah. This, this one was just weird in general. Hmm. Um, it wasn't, I don't think it was bad. Um... You guys want to hit this? Uh, which one of you wants to hit this uh, blurb? Hit the blurb. Uh, I'll hit it. Haruyuki Arita is an overweight, bullied middle schooler who finds solace in playing online games. But his life takes a drastic turn one day when he finds that all his high scores have been topped by <sighs> Kuroyuki Hime, the popular vice president of the student council. <clears throat> she then invites him to the student lounge and introduces to him the Brain Burst, a program which allows the users to accelerate, accelerate their brain waves to the point where time seems to stop. Brain Burst also functions as an augmented reality fighting game, and in order to get more point, points to accelerate, users must win duels against other players. However, if a player if a user loses all their points, they will also lose access to Brain Burst forever. Um, they call it Brain I, Burst because it would drive you irrevocably insane in real life. I do want to say that um, this show, I like the concept of just this random video game inexplicably having this feature, which would change the world. <laughs> um, and you have to play a fighting game to like use it. Um, but at the same time, I don't like battle anime <laughs> that much. Yeah. Um, and this is almost certainly going to turn out to be a battle anime. Um, yes. Which yeah, is I sad because I had my hopes up. Um, I watched the outro. It has very, like, Saturday morning cartoon energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because, like, a lot of it was black lacore. Like, whenever, whenever there's anything where it's, like, there's a virtual world where people yes. know each other and they also interact in the real world, I think that's really cool. I like that dynamic. But mm-hmm. uh, I don't think it was used. Part, parts of it were kind of cool used here in a way like um trying to think of examples uh, <laughs> he, calls the, think... he, he calls attention to to a plot hole in the very story which is why do they have in-person class yeah <laughs> that's true um i guess for the same reason that um 
a company might force you to work from the office, even though you can do it remotely during COVID. <laughs> mm-hmm. True. Same the same reason, reason I think. is the same reason is no reason. Yeah, exactly. The reason is they just other than institutional people. madness. Yeah. yeah, that's probably what's happening in this in this universe. Um, wow. But uh, yeah, I uh, I like I kind of liked parts of it. I liked um, I liked that it was Second Life the anime for a bit. Um, right. I I was like <laughs> the the when he first goes into the virtual world. Oh, I was like, oh, this is kind of cute and fun you can kind of be anything and you just don't i don't know yeah but then then it was just like mm. be anything become anywhere um be, be anything and he chooses to be <clears throat> porky pig yeah that's okay <laughs> i have some problems with this anime and that was one of them like <laughs> Like why? He, do you think he would really like choose that? I don't. I don't know. I think I he might know. have some like deep seated like self esteem issues. Yeah, just like I deserve to be this pig. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> it I might be know. explained later. Who knows? Maybe. Um, I don't th- no, I don't think they're gonna go beyond it. Other than he chooses to be a pig because he's a chubby little kid. <laughs> yeah. Which I, I again I can get that, but also I don't I don't know. It seems a little like this this doesn't exist. Yeah, like it's unbelievable. Yeah, hmm. I don't know. Anyhow, continue. <laughs> I like that he was good at squash. I like that it was just a random game that mm-hmm. they were good at. Just like really just squash squash tastic. Just have a fun mm-hmm. squash game. Is that squash, um, or uh, just looked like racquetball? Racquetball, uh, I thought. I don't know the difference, but uh, squash, anyway. You play squash with a person. <laughs> oh, a single-player squash. Anyway, moving on. Um, there, so, there, there's not that. <laughs> right. Um, but uh, I think, I think like, I, I was just sort of comparing this in my head to Sword Art Online, just because it has not totally similar aesthetics, but, like, um, the fact that it's it's a world where like you go in there and like your whole reality is replaced by the virtual world sure. um, like but the thing about sword art online is they use that as a framing device to excuse the isekai-ness and this is like yeah. clearly it's like a virtual meets reality type thing which i'm more interested yeah, in but i'm also quite put better, off as i said by yeah it's better done i i don't know i had a problem with the way they presented all of the main characters like yeah they tried really hard to tell you this is a character that you should like sympathize with and they Mm -hmm. didn't like give me any reasons to do that he's not that sympathetic yet he's no he's just just has a sad life this miserable little kid and uh, like to be fair everyone's shitty to him for no like you know pick on the the chubby kid and I get that, but also, like, he's shitty to his friends who are literally just trying to be nice to him. Yeah. You know, they kind of, like, gave a little peek behind the curtain near the end where they had, like, the the people, like, it was, like, the visuals of, like, the people stepping on him. And then his two, like, friends are, like, looking down on him in pity. And I think, like, yeah. his psychological problem, at least as portrayed in the in the show, is that, like, he he is, like, beat up and and stuff for no yeah. reason and like he feels like his friends don't actually respect him they just pity him yeah and i yeah. Can, i can get that it's just yeah uh, well you can't have know. you can't have a, a season's worth of character growth in one episode this is true <laughs> but i i'm not convinced that he's going to grow I, maybe yeah. that's just me being like super like untrusting of the genre because you know, you I might know be right. how these shows go but yeah. like yeah i could get that they could they could gi- like give him that growth yeah and I they at least if they did they, like, they at least set up for it they at least like true. they're at least yeah, at like, the fucking like uh like batter's mound or whatever you call it yeah. in baseball i don't know why i reached for a baseball reference but yes, they yes, at least yes. like framed up for the shot um true. and you can you can, least, you can at least step up to the plate. Is the metaphor you were looking for? <laughs> yeah, they they they've 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 put themselves on top of the the batter's 
the batter's pile, as they say. Yeah, the yeah that because yeah. that because that, that's a that's a raised area of the baseball field. <laughs> anyway, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, they they laid the bait for it. He acknowledged mm-hmm. that he needed to apologize for being a churl. Uh, in the, at the beginning of the episode, so there's potential for character growth there. Sure. But in this first one, he's just a miserable little shitty potato boy. Yes, he has no confidence. I appreciate the fact that they have made their main character a shitty little potato boy. <laughs> yes, it's because they never I, do that. <laughs> no, I've I've literally can't think of a single another anime where they like let you have the uh, fat. potato protagonist who Uh you know has these like issues and self-esteem you know what i'm saying like yeah people like in other anime like kids will be like oh i get my ass kicked all the time and i'm a bullied little child and they just look like a completely normal high schooler person Mm -hmm. yeah or a carbon copy of every other character or they're just an outrageous like main character design. Yes. Where in reality, you'd be a shitty little potato boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Here's hoping that the ultimate like end goal of this is like him getting comfortable in his own skin and yeah. not just inexplicably becoming not a potato boy. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's and what that's I would hope what for. I don't, and that's what I don't trust because okay, you see the um, the like. I preferred when he was the Porky Pig avatar as pref- uh, like to the whatever robot weird secondary avatar they gave him. Yeah. Which was uh, Well, that's going to be that's going to be his little robot. That's going to be his form for fighting. <laughs> I guess, but why why couldn't why did it have to be just like a cool rope. I don't know. It just didn't seem to have his character in it at all. Because they're trying to rope in the uh, the shonen fan. Yeah, they, I know. Yeah. They need a dose of cool in here. Yeah. They could have made him like, like a tank. They could have even cool. brought in the like. They could have brought back the pig theming. I I mean they, like they, I guess that that was like. I don't know. I'm torn on how they were doing it, but like, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I just take some weird, like, like, see, okay. I like almost want to like this show, but there's things that they like choices that they've made with it that are like, make me squint. Uh-huh. Hmm. Like, uh, another thing that made me squint a lot was, um, oh, that one, the one girl, Kuro, Yuka, whatever, who uh yeah. like just randomly like chooses him for no reason? Yeah. And she's like super horny for him. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe 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 she likes some chunk. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. She's just like it's coming on a little strong. Yes, coming on a little strong, and also it makes me feel like there's ulterior motives. Yeah, she might be manipulating him. Oh, I for feel sure. Like but she that's a is. that's an interesting story element. So it is kind yeah. of intriguing. I don't trust her. <laughs> no, you should. I don't trust her at all. <laughs> don't don't trust people who tell you to plug things into your neck. Can we be? Don't, can, don't like, trust people what? who tell you to plug things into your neck and do it no. for you. Yeah. Because that's what she did. That is what she did. She didn't ask for an okay. She just reached out and did it. So. And then she keeps like grabbing at him. And it's uh-huh. like, girl, chill. <laughs> She's got to grab his little, his, his, his cute little pork belly. <laughs> God. She was like, like rubbing circles into like his pants leg. And like, it's like, yeah. hello? <laughs> it's like, you are not entitled to this man. You need to she... fucking. Get his consent. Work with him. Come on. I literally wrote down, she's going to give you a virus. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get a bunch of fucking was... malware from him. You're going to wake yeah. up the next morning and have Bonzi buddy installed on your neck. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Helper here. <laughs> so let's, uh, I, I, the, the problems I have with this are 
the like ill thought out nature of this portable virtual reality. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, let's compare it to some of my some of my favorite uh, like like cyberpunk virtual reality fiction. Uh, Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell mm-hmm. goes to 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 uh, VR a time or two. Mm-hmm. And you know yeah. what Motoko does when she goes to VR? She goes home and she puts on her night clothes and she sits in a chair and prepares <laughs> to be uh-huh. in VR for a couple uh-huh. of hours in the privacy of her own home and mm-hmm. not in the public John at a high school. <laughs> yeah. I think that's because he's trying to escape and like normally you would do that, but I don't know. He's trying to escape into a world where he will be completely unaware of the things people are doing to his physical body. <laughs> yeah, no, that's <laughs> while he is away. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, that might be more of a him problem than the <laughs> the world problem. Yeah. I'm I'm actually pretty forgiving when it comes to like virtual world stuff because I'm just like you know what when it comes to like using it as like a literary device, I'm like, I'm okay with it being embellished. Like summer wars doesn't like, I mean, summer wars is like the gold standard to me, but like, even that isn't like total, not, not sometimes it doesn't totally make sense. But you kind of just have <laughs> yeah. to accept that. Yeah. Oh man. Well, even like, even in summer wars, what, what you're looking at is people looking at computer screens. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I guess in universe Where- is kind of different. Because uh... <laughs> whereas in this, people have just plugged their central nervous systems up to this machine. Yeah, they've they've yeah. plugged their central nervous systems up to fucking Second Life, and now they're just in there. They've got full they've got full ass AR and VR going on, and it would be a nightmare. <laughs> I will t- I will tell you, I've used Second Life. I will not trust any nervous system endings to Second Life. I barely even trust my eyes with Second Life. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah. Like I I I don't trust the concept of AR ever. Because it's no. just be like, oh good, blind me while I'm walking down the street. Yeah, good. Fucking like fuck wily coyote me and draw like a like make it look like I'm about to walk into a tunnel when actually I'm just gonna slam into a wall. We <laughs> already can't trust our eyeballs. What you're gonna say, we're gonna make it worse now. Mm-mm. <laughs> You're gonna make our eyeballs even more untrustable. No, yeah. <laughs> completely unreliable. Are, what are you saying? I have to install a software update for my eyeballs, and I can't <laughs> delay it. God damn! So I'm just not gonna be able to see for a good five minutes while you're updating. This sucks. Excellent. <laughs> good. It's not like I was driving. <laughs> yeah. What if your What if your eyeball subscription runs out? <laughs> oh no! Then they just show you ads. <laughs> it's just non-stop ads into your brain you get a video but, uh, anyway i have some news about this show because i do okay. have my anime list for it open up uh it's based on a light novel because of course it is sure uh-huh. uh it's like first wave uh vr isekai shit so i guess yeah. it's like mm-hmm. contemporary with sword art maybe a little earlier mm-hmm uh-huh. Uh, and our, from what I can tell from the episode thumbnails is that, uh, no, he doesn't ever turn into the no, a non-little potato boy. Oh, good. Ah, episode good 24, he, he appears to be just as broad as ever. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad they didn't take the coward's way out. <laughs> I think, yeah. I think it's, it either has to be this way or he has to be just fucking jacked at the end. True. Like, <laughs> like same height. But just fucking, <laughs> just ripped. <laughs> just fucking. I mean, you can completely. He, he, he should look like he should look like a fantasy dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, I was gonna say you can be like, but also you can be like super ripped, but also still very wide. You know what I'm saying? Or it would yeah. be really funny. It would be really funny if he became a, car- a Kirito carbon copy, and they tried to explain that through. The- <laughs> <laughs> How did you get taller? What the hell? <laughs> oh my god! I had extensive plastic surgery. <laughs> oh my god! I, I got some- put into the stretcher. I had the some. I had some yeah. shims put into my shins. Yeah, oh my god! Puller. Yeah, taffy Wretched puller. me out. <laughs> God. Um, 
but yeah, I uh, I don't know. I like had sort of high hopes for this as they showed me the world, and I was like, oh, cool. Are they going to have an interesting, like, nuanced story? No, I, that's the thing, though, is that I feel like in anime, like, in anime TV, like, you can't, it's very hard to have a nuanced story when it's like you yeah. got to do something new every week, right? Like, yeah, I feel, here's, here's one thing that I thought, I thought this story would have been much more interesting if they had somehow turned it into, like, a subtle horror mm-hmm. versus like shonen battle anime you know what i'm that saying cool. like because this has huge potential like someone gives you this brain burst program and now your world is breaking and you have to figure out like what to do about it uh, and yeah. it's it, it there, there is potential there to do something with that what would be cool is if it was like a um it would, it would be like uh here's the idea it's like um you know how in death note there's all like the fucking like scenes where they're like thinking really fast at each other mm-hmm. um it's like that <laughs> but also they're frozen in time yeah um but uh, i feel like i mean it could be like that actually i mean they Maybe? where they like fucking have to like figure out what's going to happen that's the thing though is that if i if i okay here's guys, the thing is that they drop Every guy drop. Okay, go on. Hey! I have bad news for you. What? What's that? This is also by the author of Sword Art. <laughs> See, I knew there was a reason I didn't trust it. <laughs> oh my okay, god! Okay, throw course. out the entire anime. We're done. Oh my god! Yeah, nothing. <laughs> Nothing's doing. <laughs> We're done. Oh my god! You overed. See, I, uh, I was like, I want to give this the benefit of the doubt, and like, maybe they could do something interesting now. Yeah, no, I was gonna say, going to. I was, my thought was like, if I drop all like, um, like preconceived notions and like expectations, and I go exactly. in with poor expectations, they yeah. they might have an opportunity to make it interesting by like having that kind of like death notian. Um, yeah, <laughs> anyway, they won't. They're not <laughs> yeah. gonna. It's unfortunate. This yeah. is interesting, though, because I actually feel like the show has more, like, artistic merit than Sword Art does. So. I agree. Yeah. Weird that, it, weird that it's not the one that became famous. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, if, you'd like to, uh, if you'd like to suggest other anime adapted from the works of Reki Kawahara... <laughs> <laughs> Please don't make us watch more. <laughs> you can send those to one episode cast at gmail.com. <laughs> That's one the word, not the number. And I uh, just don't just don't tweet us about Sword Art Online or related products, but you can tweet us at one episode cast on Twitter. Uh-huh. I still think Gun Gale Online Alternate or whatever the fuck it was was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't here for that one. I've oh, still so, never consumed any sword art related products. No I guess sword except art for media. this. <laughs> this is as close as I've been. Uh, we will buy the same, Joey. Just because it's by the same author doesn't put it in the franchise. <laughs> I know. I know it doesn't. But I feel like this is as close as I've been to being touched. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> touched yeah, by yeah. the sword art. Yeah. Yeah. Now I think we got to get Sword Art offline. (laughs) (laughs) Okay.